Let's talk Tanya for the 12th of Av. In yesterday's Tanya, we explained that on a personal level, we experience redemption or we're meant to experience redemption during davening. During davening, when we feel the primius alev, when we feel the most internal part of our heart and direct it towards God and have that infinite, passionate relationship with Him. And that comes about, as we explained yesterday, through tzedakah. With this, Dr. Rebbe explains a verse in Tehillim, which says, Tzedek lefanav yahalech v'yosem l'darech pa'amav, which translates as, Righteousness um, shall go before him, and he shall set his feet towards the path. What does this mean? So let's examine first the first half of the passage. Tzedek lefanav yahalech, tzedek, righteousness, which is also obviously related to tzedakah, will go before him. But the word go, usually in Hebrew, would be yelech. It should say tzedek lefan of yelech. The word yehalech actually has a connotation not of going, but of leading. Leading something or someone else. Tzedek lefan of yehalech, the Alter Rebbe says, through tzedakah, through giving tzedakah, yehalech, we lead. Lefan of, we lead. Lefan of means, the, is related to the word pnimius, which means the internal part of the heart. We lead the internal part of the heart towards God. And then, what is the result of that? Then we set our steps on the path, on God's path. What is God's path? God's path is studying Torah. God's path is doing mitzvahs. But then when we learn the Torah during the day, after this davening, this redemption davening, which we enabled through giving tzedakah, and after experiencing this love, then when we study Torah, when we learn, so that all is infused with that panemius halev, that all is infused with that incredible relationship that we have with Hashem. And with this, we conclude the letter. And I find it fascinating. The Alter Rebbe is encouraging his chassidim to give tzedakah. He says, guys, give tzedakah. You want to know why? Because then your davening will go better. You'll experience redemption during davening. The Alter Rebbe knew his customers. He knew his chassidim. His chassidim were lofty individuals. And to them, there was no greater incentive than the knowledge that if they give tzedakah, they'll really be able to experience this incredibly passionate relationship with God while they daven. But Tanya is written to all of us also, and we all want that relationship with God. And we have to know that obviously we need to put our work into it, and davening is not an easy thing, but it all begins with the dollar that you give tzedakah before you daven. With this, we've concluded this letter. Tomorrow we start the next letter, the next chapter, also on the topic of tzedakah.